Mobile Europe is here at Wembley in North London for the uh, Gigabit LTE experience with uh, EE, Sony and Qualcomm. We have Warren Saunders from um, Sony with us. Warren, uh, good to have you here. Thanks James. Um, I wonder if you, we could start just by talking about the, what this means for Sony to be the first to market with this L, uh, Gigabit LTE device. Sure, yeah, I mean I think Sony has a history of innovation over a hugely long period of time and I think it's really important that we maintain that, particularly in, um, in our handset portfolio and I think as we talk about with the new device in terms of its capabilities from a media and from a camera perspective, it's critical that we have the fastest, the fastest available network experience to upload and download those kind of new media content. Um, and as such, it's really important that we're first to market with this product. And uh, can we talk about the, the essential functionality of the device and how the uh, Gigabit LTE informs that? Sure, and I think it's really important to point out that although you know, EE are today announcing and rolling out the Gigabit LTE capability across you know, parts of their network and rolling that out over a period of time, what's really important is that due to the performance of the device in conjunction with the, with the Qualcomm chipset, we're able to, uh, through the use of uh, 4x4 MIMO and 256 QAM, um, have a faster experience across the network and across all of the networks than our competitor handsets at the moment with being the first to market. So, you know, normal kind of upload download speeds, certainly download speeds of kind of 50 to 100 megabits per second. We're talking here about the capabilities of gigabit class, but just day to day, you know, the, the experience for the consumer will be significantly improved. And what about that uh, experience with the consumer in terms of the specific device USPs? I wonder if you could talk about that a little bit. You know, we were the first to market with a 4K screen uh, probably about 18 months, two years ago now. We've now the first to market with a 4K HDR screen, um, which is you know absolutely stunning in terms of its visibility. We're also uh, very, very big in audio, as Sony are, in terms of our heritage and the ability to uh, stream high-res audio content, both from the network, but also to any devices that you have through LDAC, which is our kind of high-res Bluetooth capability, which is also in the device. Um, it's really important that, as I say, with the media that we have access to, those essential kind of experiences aren't compromised. So if you do want to stream in 4K, if you do want to stream even in HD or HDR, if you do want to stream high-res audio, you want to know that it's not going to be buffering, it's not going to be changing. Uh, you know, it's not going to be downgrading that experience and that as a user you've got access wherever you are, whenever you want it. And the, uh, just in terms of the streaming, you have a deal at the outset with Amazon. Could you talk about that and explain the importance of that? Well, I think one of the things we were criticised for when we launched the XZ, XZ5 Premium, actually, about 18 months ago, which was our first 4K product, one of the things we were criticised for then was having a 4K screen with a limited amount of content available at that time. I think it's really important that, you know, as well as future-proofing with all of these great bits of technology, whether it's audio, video, radio performance, I think it's important that in the here and now we're able to take advantage of that capability. So the announcement that we made with Amazon back in Mobile World Congress in February was to be the first mobile partner to be able to stream 4K HDR content direct to the device uh, from across mobile and, and Wi-Fi networks. And so it's really important for the user that they can immediately see how good that screen is, take advantage of it, show it to their friends, all of those kind of good things that, that are really important when you get a new device. Great, Warren, thank you. Thanks very much indeed.